what's going on everybody's here welcome back to ashen here it's been a while it's been a while and we're gonna check out some things we're gonna check out some stuff and then we're gonna chat and we're gonna have a good time because it's all about good times right it's all about having a good time so we are um we're back it's been a long time and it's been actually almost it's been like eight months since i've uh since i've hopped in ashen here so we're gonna hop in we're gonna look at what i've missed we're gonna kind of uh go over that fun stuff and then we're gonna have a chat so uh yeah let's hop into it so um we're obviously in a creative world right now um i don't have look at this look at okay hold on let's look, <laughs> let's just look at this hoverboard how sweet is this now i don't know if it's supposed to go like all the way up and down like this like i said i'm in creative mode I'm like this thing could fly like this thing darn near flies and it consumes power apparently over time and it requires an exo chip to build which um i guess i'm going to talk about that too because like that's a whole new thing in itself um yeah this thing is super cool though it's just double space and it's this little guy right here like how cool is that now you just have to have it on a slot which is unfortunate because i feel like there's a lot of things that you just want to always have on your backpack you know like this and power and like resources or you know auction cancers anyways so let's play with that um and i was just like looking through things so we've got uh now a large solar panel that's pretty cool looking i gotta say i like it and it looks uh it makes sense too because it looks very similar to where's it at where's the you can see it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while um it look it looks like the other solar panels okay it looks like the other solar panels so it's, it's super cool because like unfolds out and stuff I like that super neat and then we have a large wind turbine too so that's like an awesome thing that's a cool little deal i'm um, just chilling on this platform uh and then we have like the super huge wind turbine that like is gigantor which is super cool we've only been asking for this for like absolutely ever and this hoverboard and this vtol vehicle right here um pretty much been asking for those forever but yeah uh super cool like i'm really oh it's really neato it's really cool that these things have been added and then we got of course i gotta say probably oh hello uh probably where's my cursor i lost my cursor there you are <laughs> uh probably like the coolest thing hands down is the vtol this thing this thing right here has got to be the coolest thing i wish it was a little bit faster i wish it was a lot of it faster actually and I don't know if there's a way to control the speed. Is there a way to control the speed? Oh. Oh. The further you hold, the longer you hold forward, the faster it gets cruising. Oh. What if I go up higher? That is super cool. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I don't want to lose my place. <laughs> this is super cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh been wanting this thing forever okay so it slowly speeds up over time oh that is pretty neato that is super cool that is super cool oh i love that i absolutely love that and then you just hop you just land double tap shift to land <gasps> oh look at that and it comes equipped with um one slots two slots a one slot back here actually i'm pretty sure if we, we can throw fireworks on it if that's what i saw i'm pretty sure we can throw fireworks on this bad boy and uh where are the fireworks at fireworks where did you go all right let's get a couple of these because i'm pretty sure we can put them on here no hold on Oh, I thought we could. Th I thought we could like throw them on here, and I thought they aimed forward. Apparently, I was. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, and now the chat begins. The chat that I know people have been waiting for. I have been asked very, very many times over the course of the last few months. Where is Ashenir? Why are you not playing Ashenir? What is going on? And we are going to answer all of these questions and more. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy. And please keep in mind, these are only opinions. And they are just my opinions. And if you disagree with them, that is absolutely okay. Because everybody has their opinions. So 
let us begin we're gonna we're gonna veto around while uh while we chat so so don't mind don't mind the vetoing so let's just go ahead and let's just start with it astroneer is a game of aerospace industry and interplanetary explore exploration that is what it says this is where the frustrations begin it is a game of exploration and over two years they haven't given us anything new to explore it has been the same planets it has been the same layouts it's been the same things over and over and over which is fine if you're a 1.0 game and that's all you're going to release that's fine but this is also where things get a little confusing what type of game is astroneer really what is it like it feels different than other things and i want to talk about what i think it is and what i think it's trying to be i think that it's trying to be a game as a service and if you're not familiar with the concept a games games as a service a game as a service is a game that is forever updated and new content is added to keep people enjoying the game and monetized that way um fortnite apex legends sea of thieves you all have examples of these things and they continue to evolve and change over time and give you fresh new content new maps new story new things to do um and i think that's where ashton your best fits in i think that's what it's trying to do however i also think that's where it's failing at it's it's not working there because we don't have the newness we don't have anything new to do so is it like a factory game satisfactory factorio well i mean they added the automation update so i mean it kind of is and the description of the game is a uh, aerospace industry so i mean maybe but it's not really a factory game uh the closest thing that a lot of people compare it to is actually minecraft is it minecraft-esque it is actually very minecraft-esque you dig the surface you harvest resources from the ground and you use those resources to build bigger better things which is amazing and it's a lot of fun However, it's also not Minecraft. There's no farms to build. There's no chickens to get food for. There's no squids to harvest for ink. There's no crafting recipes that require you to craft something that you can make a huge farm of. Everything is basically a fetch quest. You need a resource, you go out and get it. You need uh, this, combine, this combined resource, you go out and get the two other items, which is fine, but it's not minecraft there's no redstoning there's no machines you can't make anything do anything really else there's no animals there's no creatures there's no npcs it's barren planets full of nothingness there's also no mods and mods allow games to become more than they were ever meant to be it, and mods allow games to become new things entirely however astronaut decided that they didn't want to do that either they didn't want to allow modding they didn't want to allow people to mod the game and essentially develop free content for the game. And if there was mods enabled and if there was mods allowed, if there was a Steam Workshop for this, this could be a completely different game by now. This could be, things could be different. We could be doing so much more, but that's not really supported either. So what do we have? What have we got? Well, Astroneer has been 1.0 for over two years. We've gotten new items. As you can see, we've gotten wind turbines. We've gotten solar panels. We've gotten vehicles the VTOL that we're in we've got hoverboards we've got new items to play with but we also got a plethora of premium items we have so much stuff in our exo outfitter store that it's kind of sad there's thousands of dollars over a thousand dollars worth of stuff in here that you could spend on all cosmetic purely cosmetic and we're going to talk about that a little more later but what have what are we missing? What have we not got over these two years? And if they're trying to be a games as a service, what are they missing? The content. There's nothing new to do. There's no new plans to go. If you've already played the game, you've already played the game. It doesn't matter if you get a new vehicular, if you get a new VTOL or a new hoverboard, because within 15 minutes of you hopping in your old save, you've probably already built it and you're done. It's like, cool, like I built this VTOL. What am I gonna go do with it? I have no idea. And with all these new items, I also feel there was missed opportunities. And I don't know how this game development works and I don't know how things work. And I'm not saying that this is the right way or the wrong way, this is just my opinion. But maybe when we got new wind turbines, 
Maybe we introduced a planet of darkness that had no sun, that had a rare resource that you could get, but you could only use wind power. Give you a reason to utilize those wind resources or give us a planet that had no wind and only sun for the new solar panels. Or give us a planet that has a new resource that you can't touch the surface on because it's acid. So you have to take your hoverboard out to go find resources to go around this planet. And in that planet, there's a new resource that you get to use to build the VTOL, which then helps you get even further on that planet that is so harsh. Or what if we had islands floating in the skies? What if, our, what if we had a whole planet of just islands just floating from spot to spot? And you needed a VTOL in order to actually move things from point A to point B. I feel like there's been lots of opportunities that have been missed. And it's it's very sad. And I would have loved to have seen floating islands and acid covered planets and all of this stuff that just never really came to be. I mean, let's face it, the new VTOL. If I need resin, I guess I can take this to go get resin. I mean, that's cool. Instead of going on the ground, I'm flying, which is neat. But we also had the jetpack and the hoverboard. I mean, I guess, sure, we can go over this mountaintop instead of around it. That's all right. But by this point, you probably already made a drill and drilled a pathway through it. So these are the kind of things that I think we're missing. There's lots of opportunities and lots of things that they that have could have been but weren't. Which now brings me to my next point. Things that could have been that weren't and things that have become that maybe shouldn't. The shop. I fully support the Exo Outfitter shop. I do. I fully support games being able to monetize their games after they're released with the purchase of cosmetics. I do. I think it's a fantastic thing. I think it's wonderful. And if you have the money to pay for it, awesome. Go for it. Support it. It's fun. It's a good time. However, one horrible trend that I've seen is with every update we've received, we get new wind turbines. We get five new cosmetics. We get a new VTOL and a hoverboard. We get a half a dozen new cosmetic items that you can purchase. I feel like the focus has been shifted to the store to get more money rather than the game to keep people playing. It seems like they'd rather bleed the people dry that are currently playing than give people a reason to come back to the game to play. I would easily trade half of all of the items in the shop. I would give up, I would give up the shop completely and I would just pay for DLC. You take everything out of the shop, that's fine. I will pay a $10 DLC that gives me three new planets. I would. But that never happened. That never came to be. It never came to fruition. And they never said it was. And I never, I'm never going to say that it was. That it, it was supposed to. But as a game, as a service, and with the model that they're taking, you have to have new content. You have to have a reason for people to want to pay for those cosmetic items to play with them in the game. An example, a prime example, would be Sea of Thieves. I just spent $20 on cosmetics for a black ship and, uh, you know, it looks amazing, right? But there was also six hours of new content added. So I used those items to play the six hours of new content added, which was great. But there's been no hours of content added. There's only been revamps of the same events over and over. There's only been rebalancing of items to make it more expensive to make it harder to get to introduce false difficulty introduce false exploration because you know when i stopped playing six eight months ago you know what there wasn't there wasn't anything that required an exo chip i had to look up what an exo chip was an extra chip is something that you have to go out found out you have to go and find in the wild that is fake difficulty that is inflated difficulty the only reason you can't build this now because it could have been the same items as before is now you have to go find that extra chip now you actually have to go out and explore the area that you were already exploring that's the same area that's been the same this entire time and now you have to go explore it and it's the same thing over and over every planet looks different but the entire planet itself looks the same. If I go and dig into this planet, all of Silva is going to look the same. It doesn't matter where I'm at. It's either going to be green, blue, purple, 
or if we go underground it's all gonna be the same if i go to any other planet they're all gonna look different from the other planets but the planet itself is the same there's no biomes of a planet well i take that back there's biomes you have the little forest area you have your plains area and then you have your mountain areas but i mean look at how big the biome is. it's literally from i could throw a rock from that side to that to that side they're tiny biomes it's nothing huge it's nothing substantial so two years of 1.0 and i still feel like i'm playing an early access game that i'm waiting for the finish that i'm waiting for that moment of oh my gosh here is the end of the story i am so excited and again they never said they were going to do that and they never have to but maybe just let us know if we're never going to get that story if we're never going to get that end or if there's an astroneer too or what is really going on because it after two years of no actual new content i just can't help but feel like we're never going to get it and like i said this is a game of exploration and in over the two years of 1.0 we've gotten no exploration nothing new to do which is why my journey with astroneer ends here it was a blast to play over the years my first ever video on YouTube was Astroneer. I played the day after it came out in early access. I grew my YouTube channel as Astroneer grew, and it was a blast to play. And if you're new, I recommend getting it. It's an absolute good time. But for the veteran players and for the question of why am I not playing Astroneer anymore, there's your answer. And I have to say this one last time. It's very sad to say goodbye. Hey everybody, how's it going? Caesar here, and today we are taking a look at Astroneer. Now, I have been watching YouTube videos over this. It looks like a lot of fun, so I figured I'd bring you along for the beginning of this exciting adventure. So, I've never seen that before. Um, it was just hanging out on a rock, so I don't know. Hmm, what's going on here? Let's go with this one. Yeah, we're so excited to be back. It's gonna look like this. <laughs> There's gonna be boxes laying everywhere. There's gonna be things you've never seen before. Only in your dreams have you imagined things of this magnitude. Oh, we got power. We have power. It's working. It's working. Okay, Z and X. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Let's do it. See you later, Baron. We have this odd stone. The odd stone! What is it? What could it be? There I am, there I am, right there! Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool, a game that I've loved so much. And I made the credits, yay! 